from the top, we got the FF7 remake trailer. Oh, it looks incredible. It is very pretty. So, first of all, the trailer itself was just uh, showing off... Was just a, a take a look at some of these extra characters you didn't see before. Yeah, like Corneo. Right. Here's uh, here's Hojo. Here's... Wait, Hojo was in there? Yeah. For really? like a second. I didn't see him. For like one second, he says... Uh, uh, he says whatever. In Japanese, he says, Kakurenbo is over. Stop fucking around, Eris. Huh. No, that's Tseng, Our man. Oh, shit, okay. That's saying Whoops. You've led us on a merry chase, Aerith. Oh, yes, right, okay, my mistake. You crazy. Um, you get to see Rito and Rude fucking styling. Oh, they look really good. God damn it, like... The Turks are the shit, They're man. so cool! And, 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 and... Uh, Rito, like, when I... The more... Now that I see him in his full... Full glory. I mean, it was an Advent Children as well. There's a there's something that dawns on you where you're like, this is a fuck boy. Yeah. <laughs> Reno is this at, dude's a fuck boy. He is a um he's a host. Yeah, hollering in the streets, being like, hey baby, let me get your number. Hey, 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 hey you, what's your number? Hey, you got time? Uh, we can go. Let's go get a drink. I ah, got this stick. That fucking hair and that fucking face, but I love it. It looks fantastic. Um. The uh, extended uh, look at the gym workout sequences and how they're going to look now. Uh, it's like, hey, look. So in one of the earliest interviews, they're like, are we going to see Cloud and Drag? And they're like, yeah, of course. The, what, trust us. We're aware that FF7 is just overflowing with dumb shit. We will not take that dumb shit away from you. And fucking going to the gym to do squats to get the wig... Is something in that trailer to be like, no, you will have to do the squats to get the wig. And Tifa, Tifa will have to do pull-ups to help get the wig. Um, so one, I just, just that, the idea of, of Reno jumping out and having this cool showdown with Cloud, where you're like, that's not how that fucking went down. Yeah, like, it wasn't have, that cool at all. And was, Rude being outside and having been being cool. They were too. super dorkish. Um, what I... If I hold on a second. Yeah. What I uh, can see, though, as far as, like, taking things away from you goes or not taking things away from you, someone pointed out that, like, you know the moment where uh, Eris walks out and she's wearing the dress? Yeah. And then Cloud's like, whoa. Yeah. Right? You go back to the original version of that Which moment. Which I saw that a couple weeks ago. Fucking, she walks out of the closet and goes, so, how do I look? And he just nods and just looks at the ground like, ugh. And she yeah. goes, "Ah, oh, you're no fun." Yeah. Like he immediately goes, "Ugh." <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, "That's so much better." But I know that the, the this one, is the one that got that killed me is uh, the shot of the girls grabbing both of his arms. Yeah. Like, okay, let's do it. And that's right before. That's the plan before, to dress up yes, in drag. Yes. And somebody just fucking uh, made a tweet and somebody voice acted it. It's like, I wonder, I wonder what Barrett's doing. These girls' hands are sweaty. Why didn't I get as many songs in Smash Bros? And just like the 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 thoughts that would be percolating yeah. in crowd, yeah. cr clouds. Yeah. Nice, head. nice, Kuraudo. I really, uh, I I can tell that what they're probably gonna do is have Cloud go, oh, like his heart's gonna skip a beat. He's gonna doki doki, yeah, well, and then but... he's gonna and then he's gonna do something like, uh, whatever. Anyway, right? Like kind of yeah. shy, play it off. They also showed off uh, like a half hour of um. This is gonna get there. Oh yeah. But um, I much prefer. The deadpan straight version of she walks out trying to be like, hey, Cloud, you like what you see? And him being like, no. <laughs> they, they have to. They, That's so. They cute. had to do what I they could that. with these little chibi models, and thus it all had to be body expressions. Mm -hmm. So it all, you know, it, playing it straight works a lot better when the character literally doesn't move at all. Yeah. Um. I I like I just I like the the complete shutdown. Did you notice? Of Cloud uh, so they ha they had this super close up shot of Corneo, be like, "Come on, little kid, and just give dad." Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like I watched that, and then I'm like, "Wait a second, then I watched it again, and like Corneo's above the camera, because it, you're looking at him from Cloud's perspective. That is Cloud in the room in, the dress. in drag, and that's Corneo being like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. sleezing it up." That's the dawn, and he is ex he is perfect. Mm -hmm. um, 
I mean, it's kind of obvious that, like, since this all takes place in Midgar, like, you know, the starting group is going to play a much bigger role. Yeah, uh, Jesse and Biggs have more lines in these Jesse trailers than they have in the and, entire... But now, well, now, if you didn't know, you would say Jesse and Biggs were main characters the whole way through. What are you talking about? Of course they are. <laughs> like, the way this is being shown, it's like, oh, you're going to spend hours, hours and with hours. Them. They're part of the crew. What are you talking about? You're going to spend fucking I mean like, you're you're going to you're going to leave Midgar obviously to go chase Sephiroth and they're going to stay behind to to take care of Midgar to take care of Midgar that's that's what they do that's why they free, fight for freedom yeah you know once you accomplish the freedom you know freedom. what's kind of sad you notice that Jesse and Biggs have gotten tons of play wedge i don't think we've even seen his face have we have we seen wedge at all he's in the background of some shots shooting a gun like uh, like it looks like you're gonna switch between them in combat. It feels like Wedge won't get any love because who cares about Fatty? Like I didn't look at the names on the combat list when you're like. No, you, you won't get to play. As okay, them. but but they're running around fighting and shooting guns, even though you're not switching to them. One of my favorite moments in that trailer is like a heli attack helicopter firing a machine gun at them, and it says, "Put down your weapons, or lethal force will be used." And it's like they're dodging bullets while this is being said. Do you think it would have been? Would it dilute Eris to let you take control of them on the party in full-fledged, like, combat for this part of the game? I don't know. I do like that... So you mentioned um, taking control of Eris. The cutscene that you thought was Hojo was uh, Tseng. Yeah, I forgot. So here's the thing. So I very recently saw this, right? Just a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. In the original, when you get to the fight on the support beam... Seng just shows up in a helicopter with Aerith and says, and she's like, don't worry, Marlene is safe because you sent her away to go to her house to get the girl. In disc one. In, in disc one, right? The scene that you see in that trailer where he confronts her at her house with Marlene is not in the original. That is a new scene. Okay. It did happen, but it's, it's you know, it's fleshed out. So I'm gonna obviously I'm drawing a huge blank. Well, on, yeah, it's on, been 15 years on Sang, right? So it's but what I mean is like not only are they gonna just add more, but they're also gonna take everything that got heard to be mentioned in the background will now probably become its own thing mm. because why not? It, why not just show it to you? Instead? Why not just show it to you? Yeah, sure. Um, no, I mean like they're fleshing out those hours and like. You might as well with the budget this thing you has. You know, my favorite you know? part about fleshing out those hours is, is the fleshing out of those hours now has a face. And it's the face of Soldier. When they're running away on the, in that trailer on the motorcycle, mm -hmm. Jesse goes, who is that? Oh, and then it's a, it's a and soldier. And he goes, that's a soldier. Yeah. And that's and it's a, like, it's like some guy going, and that, that soldier is has uh, Zach's sword from the beginning of Crisis Core because that's the soul, that's the, the that's the, the standard issue. That's the standard issue for soldier second class. But but that's some fucker, right? Some yeah. like I'm like, who is this guy? Yeah, and it's like, oh, that's a boss you're gonna that's fight. That's our part one antagonist. That's also your um, what's her name? Mary, what in Ava, uh, the new girl? Mary, yeah, right. Yeah, there. That's that's the face of remake. Yeah, <laughs> and you know what? It's gonna have. There's gonna be some. So in the in the gameplay demo, the reason why I want to mention it is that we got the the first shot of what Cloud's freakouts are gonna look like. Because in the original, Cloud goes oh, uh, and like the screen flashes white a bunch of times, and then people go, "What's wrong with you?" Right? And he goes, "Oh, don't worry about it." In, now you're gonna get black feathers. Well, yeah. Now it's like he gets a little dazed and it gets a little blurry, and he sees like a single black feather, or he sees things that just aren't there, right? And that's great. But we'll also get a fun little moment where he's like, "Oh, that guy's soldier second class. His name's I don't know, Jim, right?" And then Jim fights the party. He goes, "Who are you?" And he goes, "I'm Cloud from Soldier." And he's like, "That's weird." Mm. And Who? He, and he, yeah, yeah, and, he, and they yeah, go, yeah, yeah, and yeah, he yeah, goes, yeah, "What?" Yeah, yeah. He's like, "Oh, we can't listen to him. He's, cr he's fuck that evil. guy. Get yeah. him, <laughs> get him, get him now." <laughs> that would right? be, that would be, that'd be, uh, yeah, that'd be good. Be like, wait, <laughs> wait, what? What? <laughs> like, I'm in first Jen class. You wouldn't know about me. That would be pretty solid. That would be pretty solid. There's a lot they can do. That'd be fun. Um, 
Uh, they also showed off way more gameplay. Hey, it looks fantastic. So then, yeah, we saw that backstage uh, uh, extended look at the um, the power plant, and then later on uh, a fight with a uh, fucking monster. I forget the name of it, um, but it's the monster you fight in the basement. Big after tongue you get thing. away from Corneo. Boy, uh, one thing that I could not be more happy about is so one obviously I talked about how much I, I the fucking the combat choices and the slowdown looks so cool every looks time looks really nice so good every time second uh, he does Cloud does one of his limit breaks where he spins spin 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 dunk mm -hmm. and like it the animation looks fucking perfect on yeah, it yeah all like the, the animations the, look the ground bounce that the enemy fucking eats on that point I'm like yeah like I can't tell you how much I, I'm like nowadays I, I guess I just pop off for enemies reacting to getting hit yeah because that's a lost thing yeah and to and like so many video games that are like rpg number based don't show you enemies reacting they to don't getting show hit. a big hit reaction i yeah. hate it i hate it so much like i i i you know like like i hate it so much because when i see these moments i'm like yes it looks so cool to see the thing get fucking smacked off the ground and bounced into a corner yeah. in reaction to what you're fucking doing. Mm -hmm. I used to argue with my friend about Super Robot Wars because the the biggest fucking most annoying thing to me would be these amazing gigantic attacks going off. On a totally static image. And then the number pops up for all the damage and then the enemy blows away slowly. When they finally implemented cutscene death, where it's like, nah, that thing died in the middle of the crazy yeah. Zenger Zombolt slash. Then... I'm like, thank you. Yeah. Like, it, it's the most anticlimactic feeling. And um, you've heard me, like, drone on endlessly about, like, me not liking it in, in big MMO raid bosses. Yeah. Where nothing you do will ever affect the boss. It's just going to stand there until it fades away. I know that's a stupid, naive yeah. oversimplification. But the point is, is when I see the way the boss reacted in the dungeon there to yeah. that moment, I fucking pop off because it looks and feels great. Yep. And, and uh, second is summons are exactly what I said they would be, or said I hoped they would be. Yeah. You call in another party member. That will act on their own, and unless... And it hangs around and fights with you, and then when the timer goes down, it does its big attack, yeah. and it's pieces out. Fucking perfect. So good. This, uh, I hope it comes out in March. That's where I'm at on this. I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm fully... I, I believe, but now I'm like, I hope it comes out in March for real, because I want I want it. Now, I want you to go back to what I said when I brought up the summons. Yeah. Where the end result is 12 fucking knights standing. Not in this game. And No, no, no. The, whenever it comes. Oh, you want the whole crew? The whole round. Oh, that's... I don't know. On horseback is in the room beating the shit out of whatever you summoned it on. I don't think that's gonna happen. It is... Dude, what game? What game, if not Final Fantasy fucking 7, can afford to make it happen? 14. Because it did. As a boss fight or whatever, yeah. right? Yeah, no, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I want the squad rolling in. No, what's more likely is that the squad rolls in one at a time and leave quickly nah nah we need them rolling in fucking 13 or 12 deep whatever the number you're was talking, you're, you're talking about like like 10 times the fucking budget like mark it they're wise. gonna do it they're gonna do it mark it they're doing they're gonna it. come in one at a time man you're nuts they're gonna fucking come in they're gonna swarm it it's gonna be one of the best summons for that reason and then, at the end of the timer, they're going to do the big fucking team So, up. what's probably going to happen is Arthur's going to come in as the summon, and then when he leaves, he'll do the, the 12 version. Or, what if certain summons require you to go to the summon world? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The fight, the, gets the, plane. the fight gets teleported to the astral frame rate plane. Right, because you know the remember remember how like the summons would lift off into the sky sometimes. Do you remember how the Knights of the Round summon has no background of any kind? It's just the it's thing. blackness. Yes. yes. So that's what I'm saying is like, what if you just like I because I think about this right. Think about every summon in the game being implemented the way they were into this right. Now you're telling me that 
this team who's trying to exceed expectations of every fan of FF7, fans of the games themselves are not going to find a way to I'm make it work. I'm telling you that what you're specifically asking for is a likely technical impossibility. I saw Mario 128. You can't tell me shit. <laughs> Don't you can't tell me nothing. I fucking seen 128 Mario's jumping and dancing and going wahoo. They can do it. You're nuts. Bring him to the frame rate realm. Eat shit. This game looks amazing. This game looks good. It looks really, really good.